Mike Buchanan, he's leader of the political party Justice for Men, a rights activist, uh, because actually they're now becoming a, a, a massive minority. Morning, Mike. Good morning, Kevin. So what do you make of, uh, of all these women who really want to gain vengeance against men? Don't you think that that actually should be banned under the... I, I, God knows what the sun would fill its pages with if it, if it didn't have uh, uh, women yeah. who are very angry. Yeah, I, I think I think these women are, are just appalling. I mean, figures I saw this morning, Kelvin, said that um, uh, Anne McPartland has an estimated £62 million pound fortune. Um, Lisa Armstrong um, is expected to get £31 million. So that's £2.8 million for every year of their marriage, 11-year marriage, yeah. £8,000 a day. And, and, you know, what contribution did she make to his fortune? Absolutely nothing, so far as I could see. And, it, you know, it's simply obscene that... Um, in 2018, women are still walking away from marriages with half their husband's fortunes. Yes, I mean, women she, she, hasn't, same... she hasn't even got any kids, has she? It, indeed. And, I mean, women have had the same opportunities to work as men for over half a century. Why should divorce be a route to any personal enrichment for women? It's, it's just simply obscene. Yeah, I don't, by the way, I totally buy that. Uh, well, she's can, can gone. We, can sorry. we quantify the impact she's had on his career by maybe when he gets home from a hard day's work every day, maybe she's there, she's kept the house well, she's done everything well, she's provided him with the platform, maybe she's t- t- given him lift drops off, helped him schmooze people at fancy dues. Maybe you can't quite quantify that input she's had on his career. Patrick, are you telling me that could have been worth £8,000 per day over 11 years? Well, how about no. 80 pence a day? <laughs> yeah, but, you're right, but also, you know, if he's if he has if 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 he has cheated on her and he's caused her a lot of emotional upset, you know, look, do you not have to, is, do you not have to pay the price for mistakes you made in your marriage? Well, of, well, of, well, of course, the answer is, you know, he shouldn't have uh, married in the first place. I mean, any any man yes. with money or the prospect of money in the future would would you know would be is you know would be clinically insane to marry. I mean, ten years ago, I wrote a book on marriage, the fraud of the rings, and I was saying then that it's <laughs> uh, it's um it's 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 absolutely insane. But, but, you know, I mean, across those 11 years, I mean, it's not as if, you know, she, she didn't enjoy the fruits of his wealth. I'm sure, she, I'm sure they had a fantastic lifestyle. Oh, so, yeah. so, you know, it's, it's just an absurd price to pay what about, for, for, you know. What about the, I love, uh, by the way, fraud of the rings has gone down well here, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> this is one, oh. one of the more unusual, um, one of the more unusual broadcast <laughs> elements that I've had. But I, first of all, I found somebody who agrees with me. So, I mean, to be honest with you, £8,000 a day, I'm prepared to marry Anne McParland. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, they, well, I I, why, I, I, why are you laughing, I, I, Mike? I, I, I think it's an answer that should be paid for living with her for 11 years. Well, that's that's. There is no doubt. There is no doubt that she's entitled to an amount of money. But what she's doing is she's using the NDA, I presume, thanks to a thanks to a lawyer. She's using the NDA as another form of leverage. I think they should let let the book be published because everybody will understand this is a woman scorned, and she's just got to get on with it. She's going to live in a very big house. The queue of blokes that are going to suddenly find Lisa Armstrong attractive will stretch from here <laughs> to the M4, won't it? Yeah. I mean, the thing about non-disclosure agreements anyway, Kelvin, um, um, women sign them, they get obscene sums of money, and they flout them years later anyway, and they never suffer any consequences. And we've seen that with Donald Trump and other, other very rich men. Do you, do you think, do you think that it, it, it's time that the divorce, uh, that, that in fact uh, prenups actually became the norm for, i.e. marriages just became straightforward commercial contracts? I, I, I totally agree, and I think they, they should also be compulsory. Yeah. Because men, men are just so gullible. I mean, it really is. It's, it's, it's sad to see, you know, men, men, men I mean, rich men especially. I mean, if you're rich, why would you marry? You know, you, know, you have to, you know, we are talking clinical, you know, clinical insanity but, here. Do you know, I, I, I used to be wealthy, but having been married a few times, I'm now reduced <laughs> to doing a uh, radio show on Love Sport. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 hasn't, it hasn't been great. What, um, Mike, do you still go on with your ex-wives? Um, well, no, um, yes, well, I mean, one of them called me just, just last night. So, what uh, did she call you? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, Very, right. Did she call you last night? 
Sorry? Did she call you last night? She, she did for the first for the first time in five years, to be fair. But it's perfectly it's perfectly amicable. Oh right, well that's. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what relation this has to uh, to Anne McParlin, but <laughs> Well, no, it's always interesting to find out somebody who's kind of high profile with a kind of contrarian view. Uh, yeah. It's always interesting to find out, you know, what their domestic position is. So if you are you are the new prime minister with your party, Mike. Uh, yep. What are the first three laws you would pass to help men rebalance uh, their their position within the law? Um, I think the first one would be to um, to put an end to male circumcision. Yeah. Yep. The, the 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 second one to uh, to to um, well you know to to overhaul the divorce laws such that it, um, you know men men would not just. Uh, you know, abused financially yep. by, by 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 women, um, and the third one, um, I think I think um, an end to um, all women shortlists for MPs because we we have we have women like Jess Phillips as a result of such things. I tell you what, I tell you what, if you ever decide to, if we ever have a referendum in which we're going to change the way the voting laws take place, I think Mike Buchanan for prime minister would be an extremely interesting thing on the balance uh, on the on the book thank you very much indeed that's mike buchanan who is a men's right activist and leader of the political party justice for men